Yes, thank, thank you, President. The United Kingdom is now a third country, and as with all third countries, we need to carefully assess its level of data protection before we allow personal data transfers to take place without any condition. And this is essential because those trans-border data flows between the EU and the UK are so important. They're important for our economy, for small and big businesses, they're important for our citizens, and they are important for our common fight against crime. And as we all know, until very recently, the UK was a member of the European Union. And it is therefore evident, also in the words of the European Data Protection Board, that many aspects of the law and practice in the UK are essentially equivalent to the EU and that there's a strong alignment between the GDPR and the UK legal framework. And I'm surprised, therefore, that some colleagues here are arguing that we cannot allow this adequacy decision with the UK to pass. No adequacy for a third country that even the EDPB characterizes as essentially equivalent. If we can't apply it to the UK, who can we then apply it to? Unless you want to stop cross-border data transfers altogether and all move back to the 19th century, to the detriment of our citizens, of our businesses and of our security. I fully support the approach of the European Commission, but that doesn't mean that there are no concerns. And I count on you, Commissioner Reinders, to, make, or to take the recommendations of the EDPB seriously and to make sure that this decision will stand the test of time by closely monitoring all developments in the UK in this area and respond swiftly where necessary. Thank you.